Hello everyone, Shane here with RepairDesk. Today we'll be looking at the RepairDesk's newest integration with RingCentral, a platform through which you can manage incoming phone calls to your repair store. This setup will be geared towards Windows and requires a bit of initial setup before we can work with the integration. Let's begin. You will need to download the widget software for your computer. It's a completely free tool that will assist with RingCentral's commands. Visit the Widget website and download the software. You can find a link below in the video description. Let's go to the link. You will need to choose the correct version. More than likely, it will be 64-bit EXE. Select and save file. Now we will create a new folder in your C drive and name it WGET. Then copy the file WGET.exe into the folder you just made from your downloads folder. Next, go to your control panel. Then open up System and Security. Then select System. Navigate to the Advanced tab and click on the Environment Variables button. Here, under the System Variables section, select Path. Click on Edit. Then click on New and enter the location of your new folder. Once you've entered it, click OK to save and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Once your computer starts up again, we need to install the RingCentral soft phone for your Windows machine, if you haven't yet, and set it up as normal. You can find the soft phone app from the link in the description. Once installed, log into your soft phone app. Now, if you're using a single phone with Ring Central, then this is the number you'll be logging into. If you have multiple phones and are using an auto attendant, it can be a little bit more tricky, and you will want to log into the phone that calls are forwarded to from the auto attendant. There also can be other variables as well. Ring Central setups can be different from business to business. When you're done, Log into your repair desk account and navigate to the Ring Central integration from the integrations menu. Here you'll see a trigger labeled Enable under the Setup Ring Central section. Click on this trigger to enable your integration. And then copy the for Windows text that you see under it. We'll be using it in just a bit. From this screen, you can also enable who can view the alerts sent in by Ring Central once you have configured it. And now click Save Changes. Now let's go back to Ring Central. Click on the settings, then calls, navigate to the incoming tab, turn on launch an external app or a URL on incoming calls. And in the execute command section, enter WGET space and paste in the text you just copied. This should set up your Ring Central integration. Let's head back over to RepairDesk to set up a test account. Go to point of sale, 
and create a fake ticket. Click on Add Customer. In the mobile number, we will add 650-555-4092 and save. Confirm and create the ticket. And now we'll head back over to the Ring Central soft phone app. Click on the test button to confirm if the integration is working. Now once you've entered the settings, log out from Ring Central client and log back in again to save these changes. Your integration should now be ready. This Ring Central integration will now show a notification whenever a call comes in with a person's name, ticket status, ticket details, a button for viewing, the ticket and a button to ignore. The notification pop-up will be displayed on repair desk for 20 seconds, after which it would automatically disappear. The call will also be logged in the customer log and the ticket details. With this integration, you'll be able to use Ring Central to answer all your calls paired with a ticket for a faster response for the client and have it pair seamlessly with repair desk to take out all the hassle of working on tickets. If you own a cell phone or computer repair shop and are looking for a high quality point of sale software to keep track of repair jobs, stay on top of inventory, look no further. Sign up for free or if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the repair desk team at support at repairdesk.co. Thanks for watching.